Let's pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Morning. So this morning we're going to read from Zephaniah. So it's Zephaniah 3, 14 through 20. So Zephaniah 3, 14 through 20. Sing aloud, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O Israel. Rejoice and exult with all your heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. The Lord has taken away the judgments against you. He has cleared away your enemies. The King of Israel, the Lord, is in your midst. You shall never again fear evil. For, on, for that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear not, O Zion. Let not your hands grow weak. The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty one who will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you by his love. He will exult over you with loud singing. I will gather those of you who mourn for the festival so that you will no longer suffer reproach. Behold, at that time I will deal with all your oppressors, and I will save the lame and gather the outcast. And I will change their shame into praise and renown, renown in all the earth. At that time, I will bring you in. At that time, at the time when I gather you together, for I will make your renown and praised among all the peoples of the earth. When I restore your fortunes before your eyes, says the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So, good morning. Um, and just uh, so Zephaniah because um, remember we're sneaking up on uh, on Christmas so this is the third third Sunday of Advent so um, and uh, with Zephaniah he was uh, he was around at the time when it actually talks about it back in the very beginning but Josiah was uh, um, Josiah was uh, king of Judah at that time, and um, this is a time where, uh, when uh, Israel had been exiled into Babylon, and um, then this is after the exile when they came back and they were trying to get back together as as Israel as the as the people they were before and all this, but they came back together and then they 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 quickly lost their way it seems to be the theme of Israel which is the theme of all of us right um, so they quickly lost their way and they uh, went back to the old festivals of, of worship and other gods and, and all that stuff so Zephaniah was in the middle of, that, of all that and one of the things that was going on is the, they, they just the, the, the priests were 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 basically two-faced. They would, they would say one thing about God, and they would go over here and they worship something else, and they worship Baal, and and so the the people that were there were like longing for getting back to the way, and they and they were looking for just a way to go. You know, they were lost, so they were they were looking for a way to go and and somebody to help them through it because they didn't know what to do. They were all trying to figure everything out and. And you know, you know, it just is. It was a lot of oppression. So they were they were wanting to do it right, just didn't know how, didn't know, and it, you know, so that's where they were. So this is, and it was not long after this that they finally got back to it. But this is where, in, in this passage right here, there's there's a couple of things in here that I thought that kind of jumped out at me. That I thought was really cool. For for one, it was talking about the Lord um, is your cure king in Israel. You know, this is there's going to be a time when all this stuff passes away, when all your hardships and all your stuff and all of the the things that you're trying to worry about and all this confusion is going to pass away. 
And in that time, that's when the Lord is going to be your king. The Lord is the king in Israel. And it's going to, and, uh, it, it's going to get back to a time when, when the Lord will, will be able to, to set you free. And, and you won't have to be ashamed and stuff and go to the festivals and, 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 and that kind of thing. So if you think about it, if you, if you read that, that must mean that while they're in this state, there's a lot of ridicule about them want to go you know the, the people want to go to the festivals and want to go to actually worship and there seems to be a lot of uh, a lot of ridicule and a you know um a lot of uh you know just kind of people down on them but for for going and wanting to do certain things so they're being forced in a way to to worship that they know in their heart is not right but it's like what else do i have you know they're, they're trying their best and they're, they're trying to figure it out but it's like well what have I got if, if I don't have what I've got here how else do I do it you know and it, they're they're facing all this you know all this remorse and uh, you know it talks about reproach and you know so you know I, I think if you look there just seems to be a lot of that in the world where people are wanting to actually go <clears throat> find some truths about God. And then when they go someplace, they run into a concert or, or something that happens. Look, you can, I don't have anything to be in concerts at all. I've been to plenty, been a lot of them. Uh, but a concert's a concert. Go have fun, listen to some good music, dance, do your thing. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, but if people are searching for God and they, they go someplace to worship, and then all they see is some good music or hear some good music. What's that? How's that any different than the world? And it's the same thing that these people are running into. They're they're looking and searching and all that stuff, and they keep finding, you know, something that just resembles the world. And you know, Israel's trying to get back to worshiping God. Sound familiar? So. There's going to come a time that God will be king in Israel. And not only that, it says right before this passage, it talks about, you know what? God's going to gather all the nations to him. He's going to gather all the nations. And they're, all going to, they're all going to worship God. and you know, they're, they're all going to come together and they're going to worship together. It says, even says shoulder to shoulder. They're all going to stand together, all the people, shoulder to shoulder, and be able to worship God the way that they, they know is right. And when that happens, you know, because we all get, you know, see this thing about how we come and we worship God and we praise God and all that stuff, which is great. But here's another thing I think is super cool is in here it says, and God will rejoice over Israel. God will rejoice over all these people worshiping him. He will sing aloud for Israel, for all the people worshiping him. Now, I don't know about you, but I just think that's cool. I think that's cool that there's going to be that, that this thing, that there's going to be some time when everybody can gather shoulder to shoulder, not worry about what the world wants to tell us that we should do or be or, or whatever. And we can just, we can stand together shoulder to shoulder, worshiping God with in one accord. And then at the same time, he's rejoicing over us and and shouting with joy and singing to the top of his lungs about us. That's cool. And the thing is, is you know, that we're getting ready to, you know, we're moving up on this time of celebration to work to to celebrate the birth of Christ, Christmas, the birth of Jesus. And that's what all this stuff is about. And right now, we're in this spot. Today is, is a thing to think about the hope that we have in Him. You know, the hope that we have in the Christmas day, in the Christmas season. But at the same time, we're still in the same spot where the world is trying to take all this stuff away from us and everything else and try to change stuff up. But I want you to hang on to something very simple, just for a little bit. And maybe it'll take you somewhere. I don't know. But 
We are in the year 2021 AD, Anno Domini. The, they, they changed that to CE a few years ago. I don't even know when they changed it, but I remember they changed it. And it was a weird thing. They changed it to Common Era. AD, it was, it was BC and AD, if you remember that. We are in the year 2021 AD. Anno Domini, which means in the year of our Lord. So people can try to change the names of things or change what people, what things are supposed to be or look like or anything else. It does not change the fact and the reality that we are in the year 2021 in the year of our Lord. God said one day he will be king of in Israel. Not who we got here, Zephaniah, Josiah. <clears throat> Not Josiah, God. Well, we are in the year 2021 in the year of our Lord. It's time for us to rejoice in it. Do it the way it's supposed to be done. If somebody tries to tell you to worship a certain way and you don't think it's right, and tie up your bootstraps and do it the way you're supposed to do it. Don't settle for something that's flimsy worship. Settle, don't, don't, don't settle at all. Worship like you mean it. Worship what's in your heart. Don't let somebody in some thing tell you that you don't look a certain way and you can't come in. That you don't dress a certain way and you're not good enough. That's not right. God loves you. Always. He loves you so much he sent his son for you just the way you are all your sins and everything and even the ones you're going to do later he still sent his son for you so rejoice in that you know why because he rejoices in you have hope let us pray thank you dear lord for taking care of us thank you for showing us the way thank you for keeping away from the evils of the world and the people that would tell us that we're not good enough and thank you for loving us with all of our faults and all of the things that you created us for. Thank you for your son and thank you for, for loving us and letting us love you back. In the precious name of Christ we pray. Amen.